For the DeSoto Eagles, it's a whole new year and a whole new defense. And according to Michael Richardson, a whole new team. And even though they got off to a slow start on defense and as a team, they quickly turned it around. Coming in this game off of a bye week, did that have anything you think to do with maybe the, a little bit of a slow start? Uh, yeah, it had to because we don't play like that. That's not how we play. We came out sluggish and just flat, period. So second half we came out, well, starting off at halftime, we had, to, we had to give ourselves a check because we knew that wasn't the defense that we played. So second half we came out and played the way we knew how to play. At what point did this game change? Was it a play? Was it maybe a halftime speech? Uh, really? It was the players, it was the players within ourselves, not with the coaches as much, because the Eagles, we're a family. And so brother to brother, we had to go into the locker room and tell them, hey, we got to step up. We know we're better than this. So that's all it took. And how frustrating is it, or is it maybe a confidence booster to see that, you know, it seems like every single time, I could probably count on my hands the number of times that they would actually run it your way. It's not frustrating, because I like to make plays. That's just the type of player I am. So the more times they run them my way, the more times I'm either spilling it so my outside linebackers can make a tackle or they run it right into me, so it's fun. Do you see yourself more maybe dropping back into coverage or rushing the passer? I want to make sacks. I want to rush. What does it mean to you and what's your reaction when Coach Mathis says that you could possibly be the best player that's ever gone through DeSoto? That means nothing to me, honestly. Because me, personally, I'm not going to win the state championship. The DeSoto family is, is, so that means nothing to me. What's been the biggest change this year? Is it attitude, confidence, obviously a new defensive coordinator? What's the biggest change? The brotherhood. DeSoto's never had a team as close as we are. That's really the biggest difference maker that we have. And talk about Coach Browns as he comes in here, bringing in this new defensive scheme. How they, It seems like you guys have just grasped it so well. Talk about how he's kind of broken it down for you guys. Uh, really, it's just when he, when he first came in, he said, play a role and good things will happen. Being, being the spot you're supposed to be in and you're going to do what we're going to do. So really, it was just a matter of the fact of learning the scheme, nothing else really. And it seemed to get pretty intense out there. And I, I saw in the first half that even you and I think it was Bryson Eccles that kind of got into it a little bit. Is that more just, you know, you guys both being leaders or does maybe one being committed to A&M and one being committed to Texas play into it at all? Uh, schools have nothing to do with it. We're Eagles right now. So it was me, honestly, it was me getting it to him because I, I knew he could play at a way higher level than what he was playing at. So it was just one of those, basically one of those brotherhood checks that I was telling you about. What was Coach's speech there at the end? What was his message to you guys? <laughs> Can't nobody take this win from us. We worked hard and came out with the victory. Giggle. This is Courtney Rowland for Aggie LTV.